Hey, good morning, camper heads. Uh, it is Raymond and Linda with Freedom Detour. And um, we have been doing this for almost a year now. We're at the 10 month mark. And um, I just thought I would put out a video that just shows a lot of the different tweaks that we've made to our RV to make it just that much more uh, a pleasurable experience. And uh, we threw a bunch of stuff off that was just not serving us well or we thought we'd use but didn't. Um, and brought on about 15 or 16 different things that that we use on a daily basis. So I'm gonna go over some of those items and maybe it'll help out somebody that's thinking about doing this uh, lifestyle also. But um, yeah, without any further ado, number one. Okay, our next item up for bid here is our Jackery. It is a uh, Explorer 1000. Um, awesome little unit these things are great it we bought a starlink setup for internet and this has really taken the load out of our house batteries basically um it has you got th three different 110 plugs right here uh two different usbs there's a quick charge usb and then two usb c type c uh charging ports there you've got a 12 volt here um, your input right here, we have, this came with two solar panels and, um, one of them I think will charge at about 90, uh, let's see, 90 watts. Don't quote me on that exactly. A full sun, I think it puts out about 90 watts and then you can do two of them in series and then plug them in. And I think max is about 130 in direct sun, direct, uh, input. And, um, our, our Starlink draws about 40 to 45 watts. So usually with the two panels out and the internet going full time, we're actually gaining power. We're uh, kind of ahead of the curve. Um, you got a display here right now, it's at 84%. And what's really handy is this little graph here will show you how much is coming in, what your sun is doing, and then how much is going out, which has really kind of helped me with um, being able to figure out what some of my appliances and different things use. Automatically shuts off. Um, so it, it's uh, probably got a big lithium battery in there. Um, as far as chargers, they give you that, that block right here. That's the uh, 110. You can plug that into house or shore power and charge this unit up. Or while you're driving, you can, you know, put the 12 volt uh, lighter socket and charge it that way. Or the two uh, solar panels outside. You, so you got three different ways to charge this thing. Um, pretty solid. It's a... Uh, it's not that heavy, no problem with uh, gals picking it up, moving it around. Um, so yeah, been an awesome addition and really helped us with our internet usage. And and then with all of the different ports too, it gives you a whole lot of different options for charging your phones, your iPads, your computer, um, you know, all, all kinds of stuff, all your like camera batteries and phones. And uh, we've got uh, ring doorbell battery and, and all that stuff we charge off of there so it gives us a lot more options and a lot more flexibility out here here's one of the solar panels that come with uh it folds up in the middle uh, just you know right down right down that seam it folds up right there uh and it's pretty lightweight it's not it's not too bad your only problem with these is you got to make sure that um it's angled into the wind where it doesn't get blown over on its face but um, that's got little grommet holes up in the top corners where I bought uh, some little stretchy bungees and you could just tent stake it down if you're worried about it flipping over or whatever. Here's the back side of the unit. They give you a pocket, a, a pouch here where you can roll up your cords. And there's probably about eight feet of cord in there with a couple of different types of ends. And then you can roll them up and zip this up. And then your support leg is basically, it's a Velcro deal that, uh, seems to hold okay once both units uh you know once it's opened up and both both legs are down and um works pretty good inside of the pouch they also give you um a type c charging port there and then a regular usb also but it doesn't these don't have a brain um a controller built into the panels i'm pretty sure that the controller is actually inside the jackery unit itself so these are just dummy panels i guess you would want to call it so just be careful how you're configuring, you know, into like uh, if you wanted to use these, you could charge regular house batteries, but I think without a controller, you might get yourself into trouble and overcharge your house batteries and burn them up. One of the complaints that I've seen with this unit is the cord 
the configuration, if you, if you want to go with two solar panels, um, you just don't have enough reach as far as uh, the cords. You have to take this unit and set it outside somewhere in the sun to get close to where your solar panels are to use both panels at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, because this is how long your this is how long your plug-in is to the unit, and then you plug your solar panels into these two cords. So what I did was I got a kit. Um, I bought this, which is I think 20 feet long or so, and then uh, this adapter that comes with it. So now I can have the solar panels out there at a pretty good length, um, be able to reach the sun out the other side of my RV or whatever, and then. Um, you know, have the correct splitters that I can actually put both panels and have both panels charging at the same time into the Jackery unit. I hope that makes sense. I know it's a little confusing, but that has been a shortcoming of this uh, this unit is a lot of times you can only just use one panel. And uh, if you want to use both at the same time, you're kind of limited for length. So I solved it with this and I can put a link to um, this in the notes at the bottom of this video okay so sorry about the wind um wind has picked up i'm sure it's going to come across the microphone but this here is uh, this is our starlink and we have it mounted on a flagpole buddy system um, that has been really super solid the the mounting system there it, we've been in some pretty high winds and it has come through unscathed but um, this has really enabled us to be connected to the internet and do a lot of things as the wife is doing some stuff on the computer um, but it has really enabled us to do a lot while we're out here in the middle of nowhere pretty much signal everywhere sometimes I'm getting uh, 100 plus megabyte per second download speeds which is really good um, they give you a heck of a lot of leash I think I got probably 100 feet of cord so and uh, if you don't want to mount it on this pole they send you a uh, little tripod that goes with it um, where it's just that top one foot it, you lose that little adapter right there and then it just mounts on the ground and then you can you can move it you know a hundred feet in a circle wherever you need to go to get a clear shot to the northern sky and um, I really haven't had a situation yet where I haven't been able to figure out how to get pretty good internet this is the other end of the um, Starlink system this is the actual modem that um, usually sits you know inside the rig somewhere here but it actually has pretty good reach we were with family the other day and they were in a completely different rig but still uh, able to pull off of this and do work from home um, this plugs into 110 so uh, you know it it is a pretty good drain it's like 40 45 watts is what it'll pull out of your electrical system here and it was it runs off of 110 so that's one of the reasons, uh, like I said before, why we got the little Jackery uh, lithium battery bank was to be able to run this all day long if we needed and um, not have to run the inverter and run our house batteries down. Um, so again, this has worked pretty well. It's got a um, pretty good range. And the one thing that I would say is that we had it sitting by the Jackery and I think the electronics from that or that lamp were interfering with the signal and our Wi-Fi wasn't that great, but um, move it away from any, you know, competitive electrical signals and just let it stand out there on its own. And it uh, it's a pretty banging signal, it does pretty good. Okay, so since we have upgraded our internet and upgraded our battery power with the little Jackery unit, um, so we can run the internet all the time. We also have taken our little deal off the house, the ring doorbell, and uh, just attached it to the side of our RV, which gives you more security when you are out and about and uh, not by your rig. You can see who's uh, creeping around like a bunch of little creepers. Also, we've got um, this that comes with it, and uh, that runs off of 110, but we were... I was moving today, so it's not plugged in, but this uh, is pretty nice. It works uh, really super well. So we started into this whole adventure uh, about 10 months ago. We've been rolling around in a 2010 Tiffin open road. Uh, been a great rig for us, but we did not have a towed, a tow behind vehicle for, you know, probably the first 
seven months. So we just bought a little Honda CRV, but this was our grocery getters right here. These little fold up um, Rad Expand 5 uh, e-bikes. Um, been pretty awesome with the little, you know, cases on the back here, the, the, uh, the bags and the baskets that we had on the back. You know, you can go down and run down to the store, get uh, quite a bit in those groceries and things like that. Um, E-bikes, amazing. Uh, you know, as you're getting older, it's nice to not have to, you know, die going up a hill. These motors just, uh, the new technology runs you right up hills like uh, it's you're on flat ground. It's been pretty awesome to have these. Um, I'm not going to pull them out and unfold them. Uh, it's just right now they're just kind of stored in here. My wife took our tow car and she's... Uh, She's about 200 miles away visiting some uh, the, the granddaughter. So um, I've got some stuff popped in back in the RV here. They're, they're folded up and crammed between these two seats. Two of them folded up. They take about maybe 36 inches square, something like that. Um, when the car is here, they actually fold up and you can get one of those big totes like the black ones with the yellow lids and they will fit just perfectly into those totes. And then we slide them into the back of the car. But for now, they're right here, but uh, these have been a lot of fun to have. They've got the big fatty uh, balloony tires on them where you can roll over, uh, you know, sand, soft dirt, grass, a lot of areas where if you had like a regular, you know, 10-speed tires, they just dig in and you can't go anywhere, but uh, these have been great. And the only downside to this kind of a tire is that they're soft and they're a little bit thinner i think they're not not the tread the knobbies are spaced out so you can hit a um you know if you get into a patch of like goat heads or something they will stick in the tire and, and can puncture your tire um so we've had to put some goop in there and some different things inside the tires to help seal up little pinholes that are you know that we've got into uh, goat heads and things like that but and they also make some inserts that are like a hard uh well like a like a flexible foam type of an insert but they're ungodly expensive to put those in so but other than that that's been my only uh complaint with these they've been uh, a lot of fun a, a godsend for you know funny little emergencies when you don't plan right and you need to go get groceries we bought this little lantern because i was getting tired of hauling your regular coleman lantern around and the bottles that fill it and all that kind of stuff, you know, the propane units. But I found this at Costco, and I think it was only like 25 bucks. And this little turd is bright. Um, it has all these little LED units around there, and it, there's three settings. Uh, it's like, whoa, that's two, three, and then you have an emergency kind of a deal that you can do also. So plenty of light for any occasion. Usually we only run it on the bottom setting. Um, you know, and, and put it up in the front of the rig just for like evening, you know, just a little bit of light to see where you're going in the middle of the night. Um, you can charge it via, you know, solar panel in the top. And then on the back side, it's got two ports right here, um, type C charging port, and then also a USB where you can probably use the same to charge your phones and stuff. So kind of an, a, a nice find for pretty cheap. Uh, I, I do like Costco's products. A lot of them are, are pretty decent. And this one was definitely priced right at 25 bucks for that, you know, random occasion where you need, you know, you said you want to set it outside and have a picnic uh, late into the evening or campfire and, you know, where you see where you're going, not tripping the campfire and stuff. So it's uh, very versatile and it's lightweight, but um, it will run for a lot of hours on not very much juice. So another thing that kind of helps you be out boondocking um you know not on shore power and and be able to sustain your batteries just a little bit longer okay next item up is our little uh, jbl speaker that we bought i love these things it has really good uh, sound good bass to it so you don't have to just listen to your crappy little iphone speakers but uh it it links in bluetooth's in here's your on switch volume control very simple to use um, also on this thing, you can, there's a port in the back here with a, a USB where you can add multiple units. You can daisy chain them together. Here's your type C, uh, charger battery lasts a long time. Sound is great. The only downside I would say is 
your woofer cones are here on the end. Um, so basically what I do is I roll it up in a uh, dish towel and uh, just put it inside like a little Tupperware container with a lid so it's nice and secure. All right, this is our little Berkey water filtration system. We, um, we've had this for a while and it works awesome. We, uh, we've got a couple filters in line, but just to be sure, you know, we're in so many different places that we don't know what they've done with the water. We just don't trust some of these sources. So uh, we put our drinking water through this and inside there are two huge charcoal filters that are replaceable. Um, so, and then it, it fills up this bottom tank and then you got your typical spigot down there at the bottom. And then we just, uh, use our drinking water out of that and it has been, uh, flawless. The lid does rattle a little bit. You've got a little bit of motion right there. So I'll just put a paper towel while we're traveling so that lid doesn't sit there and rattle. But that's really the only complaint. That's pretty minor. We found this little tiny safe. Um, every once in a while you want to leave your rig, you want to be able to go out and do something, but you want to feel like you want to lock up, you know, some money or, or whatever you've got, you know, that's valuable and you don't want to have to worry about, you know, somebody coming in and just snatching it off your counter. Um, pretty simple little thing. It's a, probably only about eight inches by maybe 15, 16 inches long or so. And just, you know, bolt it down to the cabinet and then just kind of gives you a little bit of extra security. This one has um, finger touch, um, fingerprint, you know, recognition. Uh, but nice little unit, nice to have, just as a little backup security deal. We bought these little stick-on lights here from Lowe's or Home Depot, can't remember which. Um, but you know, the classic thing, you gotta get up two, three a.m. in the morning, in the middle of the night, use the restroom, get a drink of water, you know, wind's blowing and you know outside craps blowing off into the distance you got to go rescue it but these little these little lights will go off um they're not terribly bright but you know you can see what's going on around your feet um you know just little led you know motion sensor type things they stick on just take a couple small batteries um but just illuminate your way in the middle of the night those have been pretty nice and they're pretty cheap So we used to have a jackknife sofa that sat right in this spot and we hated it. It was not that comfortable and just took up real estate we didn't have in here. So we jerked it out and uh, found a matching uh, chair that matched the passenger seat, luckily. So that was awesome. So we pulled that out of there and uh, bought this table. And this was a, actually a really hard little thing to find um, for that dimensions. And it works as like a little, uh, just a little side table in there. And you can also pull it over the top of the chair and use it as a little office desk. So that uh, that was a nice little find. And again, really super hard to find that exact size that worked for uh, the hole we put it in and as a little lap desk. And then when you want it out of the way, it folds up into a nice compact little size. Legs are super sturdy. I mean, they're ridiculously sturdy and strong. We have been in the process of uh, spending just a little bit more money for different lighting in here. Um, the typical, this is a typical light fixture. I think it's at a lot of rigs, but the bulb on the left is your typical 12 volt, like tail light sort of bulb that's been around forever. They've got the LED bulbs now that run a lot more efficiently. Um, don't suck up as much juice. They're quite a bit brighter on the on the right side. So. We uh, have been strategically replacing those out. You can buy those in packages of uh, six, I believe. Um, they're a little more expensive, but uh, they're gonna make your batteries, your house batteries run a whole lot longer. And been pretty happy with them. The only complaint I think that some people would have is they're, they're pretty white, they're pretty uh, bright. Um, so, you know, if you don't like that kind of lighting, um, you know, in a bedroom, you might leave the 12 volt bulbs there, but you know, like in the kitchen and the living room and stuff, the bright ones are kind of nice. So like when you're washing dishes and things like that, you can actually see what you're doing or in an office area, these uh, LED ones would be nice. Well, we bought one of those uh, Blackstone grills. Uh, it's a little, um, 
17 inch grill. And I wanted to be able to attach to my big propane tank that was on board. Uh, I've got a 25 gallon, I think it is, on board the RV. And so I had a propane supply pay place um, add this 90 degree uh, splitter on here with a valve on it so I could attach this hose that I bought from Camping World. That hose right there looks like your typical uh, air hose type nozzle which would go up inside that and then this end here goes into the griddle so it makes it uh where you don't have to carry those stupid little bottles around and or you know five gallon an extra tank around so i just attached to this which is super nice all right well we have uh, reached the end of our list here uh, i've got one last item there is such a thing called a fomoto valve which I didn't even know there was such a thing, but uh, we are gonna crawl underneath of the RV and uh, show you what that is. It makes for easy oil change. Okay, so here we are all nice and cozy underneath of the RV. We are looking at the oil drain plug that I removed the typical flat drain plug and they got this thing called a Fumoto valve. And basically it has a little safety Thing right there so you can't accidentally flip the lever but the lever is on the back side and you put a tube right here on this and you can drain your oil you flip that lever down and oil pours out and, and uh, you can drain it into a milk jug or whatever container you have that you can take it down to the uh, auto parts store and get rid of it so it makes for a nice easy oil changes out in the field not messy at all it's not going to splatter all over you just get yourself a like a piece of um, siphon hose and stick onto that and drain it nice, easy peasy, nice and clean. Okay, yeah, so I know that I told you that that was the last item, but yeah, I lied. I got one more. So we picked up this little table lamp. It's just a small little thing and uh, it maybe stands about 12 inches tall and we've got it stuck down to the table with some double back sticky tape but just another attempt to just uh, take the strain off of the house batteries and the inverter running, you know, 110 and all that when we didn't have to. But uh, we found this on Amazon and it's a variable kind of a deal, you know, you can turn it way up or just barely trickle along for a nice little background light. Um, usually run it about there. It's got two plugs in the top for running whatever else you need to run. Plus it also has two little USB ports right down here, um, you know, for charging up your phones or this or that or the other thing, but it's uh, taking a pretty good shaking as we're traveling along um, and it's holding up just fine. So nice little addition to our table and uh, it's just some nice background light. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, typical deal, like and subscribe and more content on the way.